Hello everyone, today we are going to present our research proposal on quantum Boltzmann machine. Boltzmann machine, a variant of artificial neural network, is a typical model of machine learning which introduces a sample function inspired by Boltzmann distribution. In Boltzmann machine, a state function is defined as an analogy of energy in the system state, when it is well trained, will be random but following the Boltzmann distribution to the energy. For a restricted Boltzmann machine, the system is divided into two layers, visible layer and hidden layer. Connections only exist between nodes and different layers. Each node can carry value 1 or 0, and there are biases for each node, and weight for each edge. With all the values, biases and weights, the energy function can be defined for each possible state of the system. In real application, what we want is not to make a full tomography of the whole state of system, but to and for one single value from the known information. Using Bayes' theorem, the probability distribution of this case can be derived. Due to the recurrent nature of Boltzmann machine, the target of training a Boltzmann machine is to optimize the weights to fit the state of the system to Boltzmann distribution. And the task to be carried is usually speculating missing units in the input data set with known information, such as recommending algorithm. The power of Boltzmann machine, just like other machine learning schemes, is highly limited by computing power in real application. Thus, as quantum computing becoming a popular topic, we are seeking opportunities to enhance Boltzmann machine in a quantum way. The effort of designing a quantum algorithm, under the scheme of the energy distribution function, is considered as a promising topic. Some work has revealed the fact that as we design a quantum version of the Boltzmann machine, the training process can involve the tasks where the quantum computers have an advantage or saying, quantum boost. Here we show a prototype construction of quantum Boltzmann machine, which is to process quantum data carried by qubit. Under this scheme, a Hamiltonian is defined to act the rule of energy function, and the state of system can be inferred with the Boltzmann distribution of quantum system. Born machine is a derivation of quantum Boltzmann machine, which is designed to deal with classical data with a quantum circuit. Similar to the energy function in Boltzmann machine, Born machine scheme introduces a wave function of the superposition state of all possible states of the system to describe the probability distribution. Just like classic machine learning schemes, Born machine scheme has two parts, training and inference. The training of Born machine can be described as four steps. 1. Initialization. Introduce a group of random parameters as the rotating angle theta. 2. State measurement. Put rotating angle into a quantum circuit and get the corresponding state, then operate a measurement on the state. 3. Sampling. Repeat step 2 and get the possibility distribution of results. 4. Parameter updating. Use squared maximum mean discrepancy to quantify the difference between the measurement result and the target result. Upgrade the parameters with gradient descent. 5. Repeat step 2 to 4 till the sampling results reach wanted similarity with the target result. The inference of Born machine can be described as a typical application of Grover's algorithm. The scheme is quite similar to the black box search and problem, because the trained quantum circuit will produce a state with full information of the items, and we just need to pick the desired result, with a specific label. This means the process can benefit from a quantum speedup with amplitude amplification. We have run a testing project on IBM Q to check how it works with bar and stripe game, where we divide two by two patterns into two groups. The experiment shows that after 100 iterations the result looks well. Similar scheme can be developed to fit more tasks. Right now we have an undergoing plan to implement this project in two ways. One is to run the program on IBM Q system, as we did before. We are also building an optical setup to implement this with photon qubits. We hope to find more powerful computing system or more compact quantum algorithm that can implement more scaled up tasks in reality. The first interesting thing is pattern recognition, which is a high rising field. Some research has shown that quantum machine learning can be applied to such tasks. We expect more research in this field to further reveal the feasibility and efficiency of quantum pattern recognition. We can develop the scheme to carry on supervised learning with just one more layer to represent the tag. A simulation has been run with the exclusive OR function. Quantum state preparation is also a good question to look into. To prepare a given multi-qubit state is hard because it's very difficult to describe or duplicate. However, 
With quantum machine learning we can get a chance to let the system learn to describe the state by itself and prepare a duplication. This will help the development of quantum error correction and coding, which is important for quantum information applications. Finally, the research team of this proposal consists of two faculties from NTU. Professor Leo Yang specializes in cybersecurity and artificial intelligence, particularly in the security and explanation of AI software. By now, he has more than 300 publications in top-tier conferences and journals. He has received a number of prestigious awards including MSRA Fellowship, TRF Fellowship, Nanyang Assistant Professor, Tanshin Tuan Fellowship, Nanyang Research Award 2019, NRF Investigatorship, and 10 Best Paper Awards and 1 Most Influenced System Award in Top Computer Science Conferences. Professor Gao Weibo has an excellent experience in quantum computing, especially in operating single photon qubits. He participated in generating the world's first six-photon GHZ state and designed one kind of optical control knot gate that is widely used today.